Innovation Center at Revolucent has been transformed into an art gallery. Here to explain why, Eric Carlson. Hello. Hi, Trini. How are you? I am doing great. Tell me what's going on here. Well, as you said, we have turned our office into a, a quote-unquote uh, art gallery for the month of April in honor of Earth Day, which is April 22nd. Okay. And why? Well, the, the art show that we're showing here today is to bring awareness to a big problem that we have in Hawaii, and that is microplastics. Um, uh, you know, in Hawaii, we love our beaches. A lot of people will notice when they go to the beach, they see big litter, you know, a cup or a can or a bottle. That's, that's really easy to pick up, and we all do that. But microplastics is a much bigger problem because they generally go unnoticed. It's caused by trash that goes in the ocean and then gets broken down by the sun and into really tiny pieces. And why that's a problem? Well, birds and fish, you know, eat it, and we eat those fish. And so it's this ongoing cycle that that can cause a lot of um, damage, um, not only to our ecosystem, but to us as, as you know, consumers of fish. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a collaboration with Sustainable Coastlines Hawaii, uh, but this isn't the first time that you guys have worked together. Yeah, no. So Revolution, you know, like most people know, we're a locally owned and operated company, and we've given back to many uh, nonprofits in Hawaii over the last seven years to the tune of half a million dollars and thousands and thousands of volunteer hours. We've worked with Sustainable Coastlines many times in the past with uh, participating in sponsorships of their microplastic beach cleanups. Um, and we thought this, this one was a new way to bring uh, more exposure to their cause and their organization. Okay, well, I love the Innovation Center before, but I love it even more now. <laughs> I mean, it's really beautiful. You've got a lot of great art pieces here, a lot of local artists um, that people may not have heard of. Right, we do have uh, a lot of local artists. You'll get to interview them soon. We, uh, Mark Cunningham is probably a name that a lot of people are familiar with. He, his art will be on display. He's a legendary waterman and lifeguard on the North Shore. So uh, we're really excited about the art show, and we hope people come down, take advantage, and learn a little bit about sustainable coastlines and the work they do for all of us okay and is the uh, art show open during regular business hours it's open uh, Monday through Friday 8 to 5 p.m. for the entire month of April okay and people can buy the art they can buy the art okay good to know uh, well let's meet some of the artists all right Here I am with Shannon McCarthy, one of the artists in the show. And Shannon, this is amazing. Can you tell us what is your piece made out of? This piece is made out of plastic that I've collected from the ocean and beaches, marine debris. So it's 100% plastic. Wow. Um, what is your connection with the Sustainable Coastlines Hawaii? I've been volunteering with Sustainable Coastlines for about four years, doing event organization, education, and various activities. And what got you involved? I, you obviously have a passion for, for art and uh, for, I guess, Hawaii's oceans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all of that art and awareness and communication about this problem and knowing that it's such a growing issue that needs to be addressed um, keeps me coming back to it. How long did this take you to make it really as beautiful? I don't know. A while. <laughs> <laughs> a long time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's gorgeous. Thank, Thank you, you for sharing it with us. And over here, we have Eduardo Boli Oli, another artist who will be featuring uh, his work in the show. Hello. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> it's going great. Tell us about your pieces. Well, they're big <laughs> and colorful, <laughs> and, uh, and they're part of me. You know, it's like, uh, I guess, uh, surf art, pop art, um, and big acrylic paintings uh, that mostly I use to educate a little bit. You know, it's like, uh, tell us about you know, our environment, you know, things like that, mm -hmm. you know, through colorful pieces that easier to, uh, to look at our problems while they look kind of fun. <laughs> so explain that to me. Why is that important to you and what problems are you trying to address with your paintings? Well, it is important to me, first of all, because I'm a surfer, then I'm a father, so it is very important to me that I leave whatever, this, I mean, the oceans, the way that I was able to, to surf on them for my kids. And I want them to be able to surf clean waters for as long as they can, you know. So that's the really important part. 
uh, how I use these, um, it's like, uh, for instance, those fishes uh, um, that I have, uh, they all have factoids that uh, tell us about, you know, like a cigarette butt will contaminate 70 liters of water and that would kill so many fishes. Uh, what happens with Fukushima, you know, uh, little things like that, but always through like a, a colorful, and and positive way that uh, that pe people get attracted to it because it's like uh, if I portray like an image of what's really happening, nobody would even want to look at them mm, because so. it's so ugly. So we it's, do it in a beautiful way to get people's attention. Exactly, it's an ugly truth, you know, and, uh, and we must say it in, in right. any way we can. So, as an artist, I'm a communicator, so I communicate a lot better with uh, my brushes than when I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> right, well I think you're doing pretty good uh, right now. Uh, real quick though, all of the uh, paintings that are that are for sale, I mean a portion of the proceeds will go towards sustainable coastlines Hawaii. Yeah, correct. That's, that's the whole idea. It's not just to be able to show our art, uh, but also to support a great organization like Sustainable Coastlines Hawaii. No, because they do a lot of the work that some governments don't do. Right. <laughs> well, Eduardo, thank you so much. Again, it's the Art Gallery here at Revolution's Innovation Center. Come check it out. It's throughout the month of April. They've got some really beautiful stuff here. And again, a portion of the proceeds will benefit Sustainable Coastlines Hawaii.